Hey everybody, we're the Hobby Farm Guys. I'm Steve. I'm Brian. And the man behind the scenes telling us what to do, that's Eric. That's right. So one of the questions we often hear is, what is a hobby farm? And it's a good question, since different people have different definitions of a hobby farm and use different terms for what we do. Yeah, some of those terms aren't so nice either. <laughs> but we'll tell you our definition and more in just a moment. Just enough time to hit the subscribe button. Since starting this channel, we've learned there are a few people who really don't like the term hobby farm. Now, often this comes from the idea that farming is hard work, and to call it a hobby somehow belittles the effort involved. After all, it isn't the relaxing pastime that people often associate with hobbies like knitting or playing the guitar. True. Uh, but just as there are some who work very hard at knitting or playing the guitar to make a business or profession out of it, the same is true of farming. It really comes down to your intent. What you hope to get out of any activity determines whether it's a hobby or something else. Right? So today we'll attempt to explain what we think a hobby farm is, as well as explain how that differs from a homestead, a small farm, and even a commercial farm. Again, these are our ideas of what a hobby farm is, and some people may think differently. And to begin with, we'll first talk about what a hobby farm isn't. Although it shares a lot in common with homesteads and small farms, they really aren't the same thing to us. And it certainly isn't a commercial farm. When we talk about commercial farms, we're talking about large operations that work primarily on volume and specialize in one type of product. Right. Now, it could be called a corporate farm. Um, often it employs a large number of people many of whom aren't directly involved in farming operations. And this usually includes those in ownership, right? Their focus is on efficiency and the bottom line, which may mean sometimes that quality is not always the best. Of course, in today's society, not everybody can farm their own meat or produce. So these commercial farms, they serve an important role in feeding the world's population. Now, more closely related, but still not a hobby farm, is what we call a small farm. Small farms differ from their commercial counterparts primarily in size, though there are some other differences. Often the farm is locally owned and operated by individuals, families, or small groups. And while they may employ a number of people, typically the owners are actively involved in the farming operations. But they're first and foremost still a business. Small farms also have some distinct advantages. The quality often surpasses that produced by the large commercial operations, which means great locally grown fresh produce for consumers. Small farms are also typically better for the environment by benefiting the soil, waterways, and the wildlife. But make no mistake, the picture we paint may seem wonderful, but it is hard work. And speaking of hard work, the next thing that a hobby farm isn't is a homestead. Now, traditionally in the U.S., the term homestead described a land grant given to somebody in the western states by the government in those areas they wanted people to settle. Generally speaking, those granted a homestead lived a mostly self-sufficient lifestyle, living off the land that they were provided. Now, this program carried on all the way up until the 1980s in Alaska. And while modern homesteaders have to purchase their land instead of receiving a grant, the desire to become as self-sustaining as practical is typically the goal. So frequently modern homesteaders will sell excess products so they can purchase items that they can't make or grow themselves. Mm -hmm. right? But typically the goal is to produce as much of the food for their families themselves as they can. So modern homesteading is as much a lifestyle as it is work. Right? And it can be really hard work. Mm -hmm. uh, recently some homesteaders have been documenting their journey in their own YouTube channels. I will leave some links to a few of our favorites in the description below. Yeah. Well now that we've explained what it isn't, we come back to the hobby farm. For many people in the U.S., the term hobby farm is associated with the idea of incorporating as a farm in order to reap tax benefits that come with having a farm. So if you have a large garden and a small flock of chickens and you establish it as a farm, you could write off some of the expenses of your hobby as if it were a business. Of course, it would be a business that almost always earns little or no profit. Right. Now, while well, that was uh, possible to an extent one time, the IRS has really changed the tax code and closed almost all those loopholes. So the advantage to incorporating your hobby farm are pretty much gone. Um, but we still use the term because the intent still remains the same. Right. A hobby is defined as an activity pursued for pleasure or relaxation, but not as a main occupation. 
And many people, like us, enjoy these activities for pleasure, even if there is no tax break available. And it certainly isn't how we earn a living, even though sometimes we wish we could. Now, that doesn't mean we can't earn some money on our hobby farms. We just don't rely on it. So even without tax breaks, the main goal of a hobby farm is your own enjoyment. For that reason, you don't need lots of land or a tractor, a huge barn, or lots of animals to have a hobby farm. If you have a small garden, a backyard chicken flock, or even a couple of bee colonies, and you do it for your own enjoyment, you're a hobby farmer. Yeah, and whether you're earning a living with a small farm, or leading a self-sustaining life on a modern homestead, or just raising a few chickens on a hobby farm, we all have one thing in common, an interest in agriculture and the ability to learn from one another. So those are our definitions. How would you define a hobby farm? Or do you dislike the term altogether? Leave us a comment below and let us know what you think. And until next time, happy happy farming. Or homesteading or small farming or whatever you choose to call it. Bye-bye.